Data recovery or recovering lost files is something that I've covered extensively on this channel, and it can often be a lengthy and daunting task, especially if you're looking for very specific files from a very specific place. Well, in this video, that is exactly what I'm going to teach you how to do. Now real quick, the scenarios where you'll need data recovery software is where you've accidentally deleted your files, which is a scenario I'm going to show you today. But it could have also been an accidentally formatted drive or a corrupted OS, or it could have been a ransomware attack. Yes, many ransomware out there don't actually encrypt your originals. They make a copy of your original files, encrypt those, and then they delete the original files. We can recover those deleted files with data recovery software. Now this data recovery method will work on hard drives, solid state drives, flash drives, SD cards. If they can be accessed by a Windows computer, then this tutorial will apply. Now the files that we're going to test this recovery software on is in my user directory of my editor and it's in the videos. It's not going to be the entire drive. We want to see if it can recover from a specific location, recover specific files. We're going to select all of these and I'm going to shift delete so we skip the recycle bin. And then we're going to delete these 228 video files. Okay, now they are gone and typically these are not recoverable. Now we need to get our data recovery software. For this tutorial, we're going to go with 4DDIG, which you can link in description. This is the one that we've had the best results with. Once you get here, you're going to see free download or buy now. We're not going to buy it now because I want you to use the trial version and see if it can even find your files. If it can find the files that you want to recover, then consider purchasing it. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I want you to just do the free download. We're going to save it. Once it's done downloading, we're going to run it and then we're just going to click install. If you want to save it to a particular place, like a different drive for the installation, you can go ahead and do that here. I'm going to click install. And then once it's done installing, we're going to click start. Are you a gamer that's tired of waiting endlessly for your favorite games to go on sale? Wait no more and get your antisocial butt over to 2Game.com, where millions of gamers like you get their games super cheap right before getting wrecked by a girl. Get the hottest digital titles now so you can stop being antisocial by yourself. Instead, being antisocial with friends. Even new friends. Woo! Use the link in the description now and get your game on with a hot gamer girl of your dreams. Ugh. Now in 4DDIG, we can see my local disks, we have my SSDs here, local disk, and then we also have more options down here. We're going to cover the select folder. We're going to see how well this algorithm can recover the files just in the videos folder. So let's assume that you have a ransomware attack or you've lost all of your downloads or pictures, but you don't want to scan the whole drive and get a whole bunch of system file fragments and a whole bunch of stuff you might have deleted eight months ago jumbled into this big mess that you have to go through we're just gonna look for files out of that just one folder so we're gonna go to local disk C users and under editor and we could select any of our user directory folders such as downloads documents desktop we're gonna do videos for this test we're gonna click start now here I can choose the exact file types what if I know there's a lot of other types of files in there that I don't want for example um, audio or documents, PDFs, I just want videos. So I'm going to uncheck this and I'm only going to check videos because my video directory only should have videos in there. I don't want to recover anything else from that part of the drive. So we're going to click scan and now it's checking the drive and trying to see if it can recover those video files. And we're going to skip ahead to the end. Now recovered 323 files. We're going to actually go take a look. And in the editor folder, we found looks like all of them. We're going to select all by clicking this checkbox here. And we're going to recover. We can't use the same drive that we're recovering data from. We have to use a different drive. Since we're recovering from the local C drive, we can recover to a flash drive or to another system drive. So in this case, I'm going to go into here and use my uh, USB drive. Looks like there's not enough space there. So we're going to have to use another spot. I'm going to recover to the SSD RAID. I create a new folder. I'm going to recover, call it recovery. And then I'm going to click recover.
Now in my recovery directory, I can see the deleted files and they're exactly the way they used to be. And they're all working. Now it says that there's 227 of them. I believe there was 228 or 29. So it looks like we may have lost one. Now, if you're using the trial version, you can't actually recover more than I think 100 megabytes. But if it found everything you want and you want to recover it, here's what you need to do. Now, if the trial version found the files that you want and you want to recover it, then you can follow the link in description here at TennisShare's website, then click buy now. You'll see there's three options here. There's the one month and that's just for right now. You can save yourself, you know, 10 bucks or so by getting that one. However, if you are going to be doing this several times or if you are someone who has a lot of drives, if you're in the media business, you have millions of photos and video footage, then you probably want to just get the lifetime license, which is right here, which is uh, $65.99 as opposed to the one year, which is $55.95. And if you use the coupon code that's in description, you get 30% off. So it's actually lower than this. And I'll show you in a minute. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to get the one year because if you're going to get one year, you might as well get the lifetime. Now, if you use the coupon code that's in description, I'm going to enter it right here. And as soon as we update that, it actually brings the lifetime license to just like a little bit less than a dollar more than the one year licenses um, regularly. So for 4616, you get a lifetime license of Tenorshare 4 DDIG. And I definitely recommend that anyone in the tech business, you definitely have to have a data recovery option. and. Tenorshare 4 DDIG is a professional level tool. How much stuff were you able to recover? Tell me about it in the comment section. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also support me on Patreon and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you next time.